Hi guys, here again is Solar God. And one thing you guys know about me is not promising that I'm the best in the world. But there is one thing that I always speak for me, my installation. And I'm not just the person I represent in Tech Electronics. Here in Ibadan, a level to be precise, or your state, we just concluded this installation. Uh, here we have a uh, 10 kilowatt uh, lithium battery, 48 volts from SeaWorld. This is the new design from SeaWorld. I know this look, you know, very beautiful. And I can say I love this design more than the former design because somebody will come to your house and be like, ah, is AC that is powering these two inverters not knowing, not knowing that this is the battery bank. So this is the battery bank. Like, you know, the display is still like the former type, just your battery bars, your battery voltage, and the battery tem temperature. And I know you may want to ask, why didn't we use an isolator breaker between our inverter and the battery bank? Now, come closer. The battery comes with an inbuilt isolator breaker already, so we don't need an extra, except maybe we want to spend more on accessories. Up here, we have two units of six kilowatt inverter from C1. Now, these two inverters are communicating together. You know, the Bible says, two shall become one, husband and wife. So here we have the husband <laughs> and we have the wife. They have things in common. The output of this guy is connected to the output of this guy. The input of this guy is connected to the input of this guy. The neutral of this guy is looked to the neutral of this guy. So the inverters are communicating together. This one serves as the master, or you can call it the primary. Uh, then this guy is uh, the secondary, which is the sleeve. Now, if you, if you carry out any setting on this inverter, it will take effect on this. When setting anything on this inverter, you don't have to carry another setting out here because once you start setting this guy, it will also take effect on this guy. So come closer. If you observe from the screen, is already displaying here that this guy is the master. And you know, from the battery to the inverter, from the inverter to the house, we are using live profile battery and the DMS is communicating. So there is communication between these two guys and the two of them are communicating with the battery. If you want to communicate two inverters, they have to have the same DC source. So these two guys are taking their DC power from this guy. If you connect them separately, they will not communicate. So always take note for that. And here we have a manual changeover. But this guy comes with an inbuilt automatic changeover that will easily switch from grid or from NEPA to the output of the inverter. We use this manual changeover in case there is anything that occurs, maybe for maintenance purposes. You can easily switch from the inverter output to the grid or to your generator. And here we have our regular stuff, our DC breaker, our SPD, and our voltage guard. Presently, the voltage guard is off because we want to see how far our inverter can withstand some of the load in this house. Now, this installation is being done or was done for a mansion or in a mansion, which have about six to seven rooms, and I think two sitting rooms. And uh, it will be powering the lighting points, powering some TVs, powering some fans, powering the deep freezer, the fridge, powering some ACs. And uh, I know some of you may want to ask, will this system power all these things at the same time? Remember, there is difference between powering this, uh, the appliances and you know, backing the appliances for a long time. If you talk about powering all these things I mentioned, this inverter can power all these things I just mentioned. But the question will be, for how long? That is the question you should be asking. Now, uh, if you power all these things I just mentioned, it might take your battery just one hour or two hours to you know, drain out from 100% to 20% because the depth of this charge of these guys is 80%. You can only drain 80% of energy stored in this guy. If you drain it to 100%, uh, it might not be too good for a battery. It might not be too healthy for a battery. So we have already carried out the setting from our inverter. Once this battery is below um, 80 percent, the inverters will go off, telling you that the battery is low to preserve the battery life. So how long this battery will last, or how long this battery will back up your home appliances, depend on the amount of load you apply at the time. Assuming you will be using 900 to 1000 watts load on this battery. It will take you like seven to eight hours to drain out this battery from 100% down to 20%. All these appliances I mentioned might not be on at the same time, maybe two or three at a time. And also the client have planned for adding another 10 kilowatt hour lithium battery to this very guy. So that, you know, we'll have 20 kilowatt hour lithium battery. Maybe wondering why didn't I talk about solar panels? We have 14 units of 500 watt solar panels, which we are here to install because when we arrived here, there was no better position for us to install it due to how the house was being roofed. 
So we decided to mount this one for now and suggested to the client that the best thing is for us to raise a ground mount for the solar panels, which is you know the best thing for him to do because if we install it on the roof, he might not get the best from the solar panels. So uh, the panels are not installed for now, but the configuration is seven panels will be working on this guy, another seven on this guy. So they will share the panel seven, seven. And another thing going through your mind, you may want to ask, these two inverters will be charging from the grid. Won't the battery overcharge? No, the answer to your question is no, because this inverter have the ability of you setting the required current or the current you want your battery to be taking in. Now, we've set this inverter, uh, to 20 amps and if this guy is giving out 20 amps, this guy is giving out 20 amps It means our battery will be receiving 40 amps because they will combine both power 20 from this guy Another 20 from this guy and we'll have 40 amps coming to our battery, which is okay for our battery so The manufacturer of this battery recommends that this battery can take up to 100 amps of charging uh, rate and also 100 amps of discharge rate, which is cool So we decided to set it to 40 to preserve the battery lifespan so that it doesn't overcharge the battery. So once uh, the battery gets filled, our inverter automatically cut off, leaving the battery on float. So there is no way your battery will overcharge when you have 40 amps coming in. So don't forget, if you want something like this, our number will be on the screen. You can contact us for something like this. Like I said, we don't promise you that we are the best in the world, but we'll promise you a few things, luxury, beauty, satisfaction, and quality. We are Emitech Electronics and I am Solar God.